The origins of rock and roll have been fiercely debated by fans and historians of music for many years, but almost everyone agrees that it arose in the southern United States, the region that went on to produce most of the early rock and roll acts. Through the meeting of various influences that embodied a merging of the African musical tradition with European instrumentation rock and roll was born. Let's take a look at the journey rock and roll has been on and pay tribute to the biggest influences and greatest rock stars we have come to know. As Robert Palmer said rock and roll was an inevitable outgrowth of the social and musical interactions between blacks and whites in the South and Southwest. Its roots are a complex tangle. Bedrock black church music influenced blues, rural blues influenced white folk song and the black popular music of the northern ghettos, blues and black pop influenced jazz, and so on. But the single most important process was the influence of black music on white. Prince, also known as Prince Rogers Nelson, was famous for expressing erotic sexual fantasies through his music. His first two albums in 1978 and 1979 brought him his first top 20 pop hit, and he continued to gain fame with more chart-topping music. Unfortunately, he was found dead at his home in Minnesota on April 21, 2016, due to a drug overdose. Stevie Nicks, a member of Fleetwood Mac, released a successful solo album in 1981 and later reunited with the band in 1997. In this rare photo, David Bowie is seen on the set of The Man Who Fell to Earth, wearing a trench coat and fedora hat. Janis Joplin, born on January 19, 1943 in Port Arthur, Texas, developed a love of music at an early age and joined the band Big Brother and The Holding Company in 1966. Their 1968 album, Cheap Thrills, was a huge hit. Joplin then separated from the group and became known for her powerful, blues-inspired vocals. Joplin's second project, Pearl, 1971, released after her death, was a huge success. The singer died of an accidental overdose on October 4, 1970, at age 27. AC, DC, an Australian rock band formed in 1973 by brothers Malcolm and Angus Young, have sold over 200 million records worldwide. John Lennon returned his MBE to Queen Elizabeth II as a protest against Britain's involvement in Nigeria Biafra, support of America in Vietnam, and cold turkey slipping down the charts. Robert Anthony Plant, born in England on August 20, began his musical career in 1966 and was recruited by guitarist Jimmy Page for the New Yardbirds in 1968. Led Zeppelin experienced great commercial success with albums like Houses of the Holy and Physical Graffiti. In 1977, Plant had to cancel the rest of his tour due to the tragic loss of his six-year-old son Carrick. In July 2009, Plant was named a commander of the Order of the British Empire for his services to music. Jimi Hendrix, originally named Johnny Allen Hendrix, had a tough childhood and eventually formed his own group, Jimmy James and the Blue Flames, before finding success with Hey Joe in London. The band's debut album was titled Are You Experienced, followed by Axis, Bold as Love and Electric Ladyland. Hendrix gained popularity in the United States after his performance at the Monterey Pop Festival, 
where he famously lit his guitar on fire. Debbie Harry became the lead singer of rock band Blondie in 1970 and rose to fame when the band became successful, known for its stylish rock with elements of disco pop and reggae. Pink Floyd was founded in 1965 by student Sid Barrett, Nick Mason, Roger Waters, and Richard Wright, and things really got interesting when David Gilmour joined in December 1967. Sadly, Barrett left in 1968 due to deteriorating mental health and Waters became the band's primary lyricist and conceptual leader. Patti Smith, a regular on the New York scene as a poet and performance artist, began setting her poetry to electric guitar playing in the early 1970s. Born in Chicago in 1946 and raised as a Jehovah's Witness, she became the key leader of the punk movement with her rough, clattering sound and shrieked, soaring vocals. Joni Mitchell's third album, Ladies of the Canyon, was a mainstream success, becoming her first gold album and including the hits, The Circle Game, and Big Yellow Taxi. Her album Court and Spark, made in 1974, became her most commercially successful project to date. In April, 1970, the singer formed a band named Queen with Roger Taylor and Brian May. He renamed himself from Farrakh Bolsara to Freddie Mercury. On October 26, 1981, Queen released Greatest Hits, a compilation of songs from various albums. Ten of the 17 singles were penned by Mercury. In 1990, Freddie and Queen received the Brit Awards for Outstanding Contribution to Music. After his death in 1992, he received the Brit Award for Outstanding Contribution to British Music, and was inducted into various halls of fame. The Grateful Dead, founded in the San Francisco Bay Area during the rise of the counterculture of the 1960s, originally called their band The Warlocks before they became The Grateful Dead. Jerry Garcia sadly died in 1995, and since then the band has continued to tour under different names and with different performers filling in for Jerry. Currently, they are touring as The Dead & Company with John Mayer as Jerry's replacement. Mick Jagger, born Michael Philip Jagger on July 26, 1943, started his singing career in church and became known for his ironic detachment and sinuous dance moves. In 1984, he did a duet with Michael Jackson on the Jackson's number no. 3 single, State of Shock, and the following year released his first solo album, She's the Boss. Bob Dylan and Johnny Cash admired each other before they even met. Dylan was impressed by Cash's, I Walk the Line, and Cash was into Dylan's music in the early 1960s. Jim Morrison, also known as James Douglas Morrison, was the frontman of The Doors, a rock group formed in 1965. Their second single, Like My Fire, propelled them to the forefront of the rock and roll world, reaching number one on the Billboard Pop Charts. Debbie Harry and Bill Murray in the studio recording songs for John Waters' movie Polyester. Hannah the lead singer of the feminist punk band Bikini Kill and Le Tigre, 
used her music and the creative arts to advocate for women's rights in the male-dominated genre of rock. Her whole world turned upside down when she met Neil Giraldo, a rock guitarist whose riffs gave Benatar the sound she had always wanted. David Bowie, originally named David Robert Jones, was born in Brixton, London, on January 8, 1947. His family relocated to Bromley when he was only six years old. In 1970, Bowie briefly formed the hype, in which all band members dressed up as superheroes and were often booed off stage. Additionally, Bowie co-produced tracks on Lou Reed's album Transformer and was a member of ten different bands throughout his career. He was born James Paul McCartney on June 18, 1942 and is known for his solo output, his work with the group The Beatles, and his collaborations with other artists. Elvis Aaron Presley, born on January 8, 1935, began his singing career with Sun Records in Memphis and became an international sensation by 1956, challenging social and racial barriers. He is often referred to as the King. He was a prominent figure in the English punk rock band, The Clash, which disbanded in 1986 after making significant contributions to rock music. Their album, London Calling, was hailed as the top album of the 1980s. Kurt Cobain, the face and enduring icon of alternative rock, became the most important artist of the 1990s despite living for less than half of the decade. His coarse wail and tangled leads influenced countless rock musicians, and his lyrics reflected his struggles with growing up and inner demons. Chuck Berry was raised in the Ville neighborhood of St. Louis and had his first public performance in 1941. He was sent to a reformatory in 1944 for car theft and formed a singing quartet while there, eventually performing outside the facility. He was released on his 21st birthday in 1947. Debbie Harry effortlessly rocking a simple white tank top. Bruce Springsteen, an American songwriter, singer, and guitarist, is widely known for his brand of heartland rock infused with pop hooks and poetic lyrics. He has sold over 65 million albums in the United States alone and has earned numerous accolades, including 18 Grammy Awards and an Academy Award. As the lead singer of Guns N' Roses since 1985, Axl Rose is renowned for his energy and powerful voice in rock and roll. He joined the heavy metal band, Black Sabbath, in the 1970s but was fired in 1979, and went solo, selling over 100 million albums and is now known as the godfather of heavy metal. The roots and rhythm of jazz and blues helped shape the rock and roll music we know today, with rock deriving from country blues and common use of bass, guitar, and drums. Bono, the lead singer of U2, is also the band's main songwriter and has won numerous awards.
John Bon Jovi started his career in 1983 after getting rejected by two record labels, and went on to sell over 130 million albums with his band. Tyler, a famous rock icon and lead singer of Aerosmith, struggled with drug addiction, but the band bounced back in 1986, selling millions of albums. <laughs>